This is a gold mine for you guys. They have a whole variety of exam tables. Look at all these microscopes, guys. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Little bit of everything, man. These are medical grade flat panel displays. Very expensive normally. Surgical tables, like I said, uh, these guys specialize in surgical tables. To show you like the scale of the warehouse. Now mind you, there is a racks and racks of PPE. A lot of that over there is PPE. This is a medical equipment paradise. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm out in New Jersey. Uh, I was expected to go to Pennsylvania, but uh, I've got a gig over there and I went ahead and I contacted Scott McSimmons over here. And uh, as soon as I was in the airport, I was like, hey man, uh, I know you're over in that area. Uh, why don't you, uh, you know, let's, let's, let's meet up. So here I am. And he's showing me his operation. Believe it or not, I started in this room because this is the smallest of all the rooms. And guys, uh, this is like my dream job. When it comes to medical equipment, I've always said, like, I hope somebody just puts me in a warehouse full of broken stuff and just says, Justin, go fix it. That would be my dream for employment. Well, it seems like that dream <laughs> is here on the other side of the country. So let's go ahead and let's take a tour of his facility. And uh, let's let's talk about this because there's some real profitable opportunities here for a lot of you guys out there. So let's go ahead and check. And if you guys are interested in any of the stuff that you guys see, message down below in this video and we'll make you a deal, all right? So let's go ahead and do, let's do it. Let's start in this room that I'm currently in. All right, Scott, there we go. So uh, I've been trying to meet up with him for a long time and it just so happens that I was gonna be over here in Philadelphia, which I, I never imagined in my whole entire life that I'd be going to Philadelphia. But uh, Scott's taking me on a tour of his facility and this is just what, one of the buildings that you guys have, right? Six, we have six total, three six in this total. location in Berlin and the main hub is in a town called Palmyra, which sits right on the Delaware River. Interesting. So the crazy thing is, is that these guys do not specialize in any of this stuff. It's more so in the microscopes and, you know, they do some beds and stuff, uh, but a lot of surgical tables. And, uh, but there's, you know, the thing is, is Scott's a hustler and, and hustlers will never turn down a bargain. And he knows people that know people. And because of that, he gets all sorts of crazy deals. So if you guys see any of the stuff that we, we go over in this video, I want you guys to message down below and we're gonna try and work out a deal. Now I'm starting in the back corner of one of the buildings because this is probably gonna be a really large video, All right? There's a lot of stretchers. There's a lot of Ritter and Midmark tables. If you guys are looking for some plum pumps, we'll make you a deal on an entire container. So any of you colleges that have biomed students or something, I'll tell you what, this is a gold mine for you guys that are training people Take a look at this. We got some stretchers. Most of the stuff works. There are a few things oh, I, here I that imagine. come in that might need a biomed technician to repair, but 90% of it is working condition. Is this not wild? Look at this. So we have uh, a germ air hood. We've got some brain lab carbon fiber. That's probably very expensive. <laughs> We've got Thank some. Too. Yeah, I see that. That's beautiful. Um, so we have uh, that, that, that's a scope cabinet. Yeah, a scope cabinet. We've got uh, a small portable man. Those things go like hotcakes right there. Um, let's see. We've got giant stand up uh, Amsco Steris. These ones here almost yeah. never fail. You're actually the one on the right. That's their latest one. The QDK06. Yep. The rest are all fours. These ones here replace the thermal fuses, some of the standoffs and the fan, and they'll run for another 10 years. No problem there. But look at all the chairs we got. Guys, we're, we're starting at the very back of his warehouses for a reason, because this is all the more common stuff, all right? Look at all these TVs. Oh, actually, uh, one of the big hospital systems that we do asset management with is converting all the patient rooms to new TVs, and they asked us wow. if we would take them down and sell them. And I got about 300 flat screen televisions. Amazing. So uh, they have a whole variety of exam tables. Every different, this one here is really cool. I dig that one. Actually, that's a swivel-based yep. one. So I have two with swivel base, and I have a fixed-based one in, in the corner. 
These are mostly 623s, and what's great about these is they're barrier-free. Unlike a standard 204, that might be, give or take, 36, 40 inches off the ground. That actually goes almost to the floor. Yeah, I see that. So your... Very cool. Might be a older... A lot of these tables are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're getting to the good stuff, guys, because... You should know on my uh, on my channel, I've talked a lot about microscopes and I've done a lot of work on microscopes. And oh my gosh, look at this beautiful Leica right here. Uh, here. Okay, this one right here is one of the better end ones. This is a nice Pico. Yep, it's yep. Really great for ENT. You got an S7 over there. That is, this is a Vizu 150. Yeah. Okay, with a 50 50 beam splitter. Yeah. Okay. This is actually set up for face to face. Most ophthalmology or eye microscopes will have the extension, mm -hmm. and this would be sitting over here. The way this is configured is face to face, so that would almost be in, in line with uh, hand or, or or spine. That right there, that's an MS one. The one you shot over there is an MS three. Yeah. Okay. Look at all these microscopes, guys. This is actually the 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 good ones are back here. This is a fully refurbished Leica OA4, okay, with 300 watt. As you see, it's wrapped, it's been repainted, been redone. This is how I get them on conversions. Camera. Okay, it has the Med Exchange. The Med Exchange is your, the Med Exchange is your video uh, broadcasting system. Yep. Okay, this right here is another, just redid it. This is an ENT. Okay, this is a, actually I have two of them. This is a Leica 320. Okay. If you notice all the microscopes, majority of them have the binos off. Oh. Put the binos here, because it's actually safer to have them off so they don't get banged or messed. Nice little Fabius. Yeah, okay. that's very smart. Well. All right. If I'm working on one or if I'm making a video or I have a customer, yes, I put the binos on, but most of the time the binos and even the bridges come off. Wow. So guys, uh, if you're looking for Plum oh, pumps, no you, problem there. If you if you want medicine cabinets, oh my gosh, in there. <laughs> oh my. See, these here are my favored biomed carts. So uh, these here are they're extremely durable and they're actually better built than most uh, tool chests. And uh, anesthesia carts and stuff are the best biomed carts out there, hands down. But so that's this building. We're gonna we're gonna tour the next building and we're gonna continue this video on because. This is nothing compared to the building that we walked through. I'm talking like 16, 18 foot high racks full of just stuff. And it's, it's insane. So guys, let's continue this video over at the next building. Okay guys, second building. And uh, there was a, um, there's a room right over there that's got a bunch of implants. Now you're gonna see we have we have an army of these uh, 6,000 series Connexes. We have over 130. Yeah, I've got a hundred of them myself and I was gonna do like flat rate repair on them. You know, like you ship me whatever one you want across the country and I'll, I'll repair it at flat rate, but I just don't have the time. Omida, man, I haven't seen one of those in a while, the Excels. To show you like the scale of the warehouse. Now mind you, there is racks and racks of PPE. A lot of that over there is PPE. And uh, guys, if you guys need some PPE, message me below, I will cut you a crazy deal, okay? And I'm talking any P P PPE. You want face shields, you want gloves, you want sandy wipes? You you let me know. You, you need it? Let me know. All right. So what these guys do is they will be contacted by hospitals to just come and pick it up. Whatever they have, they come and pick it up and they do. And because of that, they have a little bit of everything. So we will have everything from laboratory analyzers to sterilizers to sea uh, arms. We've got scales, uh, patient lifts. All right. Uh, We've got Olympus Tower over here. That's cool. Is that a 160 series? Oh, that's a, a CLB 40. Man, what else we got? These. Sorry, guys, if I'm panning too fast. I get really excited when I get around this kind of stuff. So, um, geez, a little bit of everything. So, one of the cool things is, is these guys have this kind of um, organized... So you're gonna see a lot of tags on equipment. That's because Scott has a lot of this stuff currently up for sale on auctions. And, and uh, do you have like a, a, a store or is this on eBay or where do you it's sell? It's actually on .med, okay. .med auction, sometimes yeah. uh, bi-monthly on Mazri, M-A-Z-R-E-E. -E. 
Okay. As well as eBay. I've never heard of Masri. Yeah, I'll Masri's out, out. Of, uh, out of Utah. What ended up happening last week, why this looks like a mess, as you see, if it has a tag on, it means it's been inventory. Okay. We had about probably four truckloads, five truckloads come in in about three days. Wow. So oh, hey, look, they got shielded glass over there. That came on that, that all, there are six of those that came with all this stuff in the middle. Oh, there's, there's more the stuff, shielding over there. Some, yes. some stuff has been inventoried and some stuff hasn't. That's expensive. And there's another one here. Yes. Okay. So, so guys, there is, I think, I see, of, I see it. Oh my gosh. There's so much of my history in you know, my 20 year biomed career um, that are sitting here on racks. So um, these guys do a lot of ESUs. They do, well, obviously a lot of patient monitors. Look at all these Walsh Allens. Look at this. We got some uh, life packs. We got compact suction units. We got, oh my gosh. Holy cow. Little bit of everything, man. How cool. Let's see. Oh, yes. I got seven of these. So, uh, the remaining are in the other building, but I have these one. right here are some of my favorite stools and, and because I've done a lot of OR repairs and when I'm working on surgical tables and stuff, this right here is the most beautiful chair. So I use them all often when I'm doing, man, that, that thing's in really good condition too. I use these for when I'm soldering, uh, at a low boy table because you can move these arms and position it so that you can uh, solder with comfort and you can lock the brakes, raise and lower the stool. Man, these things are beautiful. Oh, cool. All I have to do is put, yep. to put the uh, armrests on them. We've got M11. Nice. Now, this guy should sell really quickly. Actually, all of this job, the same thing. Really? Oh my gosh. This is, guys, this is like, if, if I live nearby, I would be coming over here and doing videos all the time because... This is the kind of stuff. Look at all these EKG machines. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Some HD connects. Need some HD connects, guys. He's a little bit of everything. A lot of history here, too. So um, you're going to see a lot of uh, orthopedic stuff. Definitely. Because uh, that's one of Scott's most famous things that he's been doing for most of his career is... Uh, yeah, you know, this guy should sell really quickly too. Oxygen blenders. Hmm. A lot of compact suction units. We've got uh, centrifuges. We've got surgical tables. Like I said, uh, these guys specialize in surgical tables. Um, so one of the cool things that these guys do is they will uh, completely refurbish the equipment that they're selling and they redo the stainless steel. They redo the upholstery. They do a whole bunch of stuff. So... Came in with, with, with the 3500 here. But remember, there was, there was look at this. There's some history there, man. Oh, look at these. You guys need some uh, flat panel displays? These are medical grade flat panel displays. Very expensive normally. Microscopes. We got fluid pumps. We've got, geez, a little bit of everything. Dionics. Nice. Somebody asked me not so long ago where they can find a, a screen for a Dionics. That's one of the best places to get the screen is you find uh, another unit and you pull it off of it. Look at that. I mean, geez, a little bit of everything. Some x-rays, cell washer. What the hell? Well, that's a piece of history right there. Oh, yeah. It's uh, sponge detectors, sponge counters. A lot of patient monitoring things. Jeez. Sorry, guys, if I'm going a little too fast. I said, I get way excited. Look at all these tr uh, hand controls. How cool is that? So if you guys are looking for something particular, man, I would reach out to Scott. Dude gets the hookup like I've never seen. Yes, we got uh, S5 Aspire right here. And that guy's probably going to sell quickly right there. Um, Man, a lot of vintage anesthesia machines. We got some good stuff here, man. He's got, oh, goodness. History. Yeah, high-low table. 
more centrifuges. We've got several hoods that I've seen. There's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, wow. These guys are pretty expensive. Um, wow. A little bit of everything. We got some scopes. We got a bunch of sea arms. We got a bunch more plum pumps. Uh, those look like plum 360s. Usa. Look at that. The classics. The treadmill. Is that cardiac stress? Just some cool stuff. So anyway, that brings me to the main is we have a lot of these boxes right here, which is uh, PPE. <laughs> and yes, it's a lot of PPE. And the thing is, is um, we, we got face masks, man, a little bit of everything going in here. N95 masks, a lot of gowns, face shields, a lot of gloves. Damn, a lot of gloves. Oh, look at that. There's some treasure sitting right back there. More flat panels. Little striker flat panels. Such cool stuff, guys. Look at that logic. That's some history. A little rack or something here. What are these? Oh, okay. Spectra pumps. You guys need any of those? Message me below. We got light source. We got more centrifuges. Oh, malice. I haven't seen one of those in a little bit. We got <clears throat> stirrups. A lot of stirrups. You guys, you guys need stirrups? Buffalo filter. Nice. More light sources. Jeez, I could have so much fun here. We got a cross flow right there. Very cool. This is a medical equipment paradise. All that stuff on that rack. And then we've got, jeez. Well, I, I, I said that it was 16 to 18 foot. It might be, I don't know. That's, that's probably 16 to 18. You can imagine. That is a lot of PPE, all right? So we got aprons and stuff. And, uh, you know, hospital reached out to him and said, hey, we need to get rid of this stuff. Come get it. So here we go, guys. You guys need some of this stuff? We got neb nebulizers. Jeez, a lot of nebulizers, man. So anyway, guys, um, this is, it's cool that they just allow me to walk through this uh, warehouse because, um, this is the kind of stuff that I love, man. I mean, look at it right here. Got a little Snorts Endocart. Beautiful flat panels right here. Some strikers. Those are nice. You guys would probably recognize those for digital signatures. Oh. Viral transport. Oh, okay. Kind of curious what that is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to cut this short because uh, I've got contacted by the hospital and now I've got to run over to a hospital and see what's going on over there. It's a very busy time. I'm only going to be in town for about, I don't know, let's say uh, 16 hours, something like that. So I'm running around and this is so cool. You see that there's a little bit of everything, but one of the coolest things is that they will redo and reupholster all sorts of stuff. And they do an honest, real good attempt at uh, refurbishing things when they go to sell it. And uh, well, it looks like there's just a whole bunch of stuff here and it, it's wild. That's because they constantly have stuff coming and going so quickly. And if you look at the dates on a lot of this stuff, you'll see that a lot of this stuff is just coming and going. What is this? Three of those, my friend, I need them. All right, here we go. Coming and going, guys. That's that's how stuff is. The the hustle over here in the New England area for medical equipment is live and well, man. And uh, this is amazing. So anyway, that's the tour. 
And uh, I'll leave the contact information in the video description down below so that you guys can reach out if any of this stuff spikes your interest. There's a lot of opportunity here in this warehouse. So thanks for watching, guys.